What's up, business builders? We're coming at you with our third video in our series. This has all been about retention. How do we retain and keep all these people that we're hiring so that way we can build, we can scale, and we can grow? So we're gonna jump right in, all right? So what I'm gonna talk about today is a, an employee recognition system, okay? I think one of the things that we were learning, right, in the marketplace is that one of the number one reasons people leave jobs is because they don't feel recognized and valued. So if I know that that's why a lot of people leave, then I want to get hyper-focused on making that one of the bigger strengths in our company. And it can be difficult at times when you're juggling 25 different things. Uh, you're putting out fires here, you're booking jobs left and right. Uh, this truck's got mechanical problems, right? It's all over the place. And sometimes you can forget to verbally praise and recognize people, especially if it's not something that's probably, you know, maybe in your nature, you haven't worked on it a ton. So what I'm going to go through with you is a, a recognition system. And this is something you can plug in into your business, teach it to all your leadership staff and say, Hey, this is what we do. Every single person that comes on our team, we do every single one of these steps. Okay. So, this is really kind of a, a starter checklist for someone's first month. You can, can, you can do way more than this if you want. And obviously, there's tons of little small verbal praises and conversations. But these are things that, hap that, that you want to have happen every time. So let's jump in. Uh, number one, as soon as that person gets hired, okay, uh, you want to add, you want to get them added to the team chat, team communication thread. So if you're using Slack or uh, maybe you're using GroupMe or something, personally, I recommend Slack. That's what we use. But whatever way you communicate with all your people, right away, you want to send a, like an introductory message, you know, telling everybody about your, this new person and, and put a little bit of thought into it. You know, it's not just saying the person's name. It's saying, hey, this is you know, this is Josh, you know, so-and-so, uh, they just moved to the area. They grew up out in Canton, Ohio, and they have a background in X, Y, Z. We're super excited for them to start. If you, when you see them, make sure you, you introduce yourself, give them your, your contact and let's get them up to speed, right? Something of that nature. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put that into our full team chat. All right. Um, number two, this will probably be maybe at their two, second or third day. Once they go on their first job, all right, their first move, make sure that somebody gets a photo of the new guy on the job. And, and it could be, you know, him posing or maybe he's got some pads over his shoulder or, you know, maybe he's, he's carrying some furniture with another person, um, whatever it is. Or maybe it's a photo with a customer, but whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Just a photo at the job of the new guy and post that in the team communication thread. Okay, the team chat, put that in the chat. Say, hey, Josh just finished up his first job, crushed it, he was killing it, he, he's learning this so fast, you know, blah, blah, blah. And that's just a little bit of praise, right? A little bit of verbal praise. It may not be in person, but it's, it's on the chat, right? The benefit also of those two things is that everybody else sees it. So not only is it a benefit to Josh, the new guy, but it's actually raising the morale of every other person that's that's a part of the group because you build this camaraderie, right? People kind of, right? They kind of uh, link up arms, they jump in and they're like, yeah, man. Yeah, hey, way to go, Josh, right? And uh, this is how you start building that, that cultural momentum, okay? Uh, number three in your recognition system, verbal praise at your morning huddle. So this might be after their first week. If uh, maybe you call this something different, but um, if you have like a little morning meeting, morning huddle before all the guys dispatch, it may only be one crew. It could be three, four, five, twenty crews, whatever it is. But all the trucks are ready to go. All the equipment checklists have been done. Trucks are running. They're warmed up. Literally, the next thing is just to get in the truck and go. Uh, I like doing a little five-minute meeting. Okay, we call them we call them morning huddles bring all the guys in and you just teach one thing. And sometimes it's just like a little reminder, hey guys, really make sure that we, you know, blank, 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 right? Let's really make sure we focus on that today. 
And in the morning huddle, anybody that just hit their first week, I'm going to do a big shout out in the huddle. And you might have three guys. You might have 20 guys. Depends on your, your operation. You might have 50 people that are all getting dispatched there in the morning. And um, I'm going to verbally praise my new guy. So I'm going to take Josh again, right? And I'm going to verbally praise Josh. And I'm like, man, Josh has been here a week. He's been on time every single day. He's been hustling in uniform every day. And I'm going to recognize all of the things that we want our team doing every single day. What humankind strives for the most is recognition. It's recognition. It's what everybody's missing. And when they see I'm praising and recognizing the new guy and he's doing X, Y, Z, subconsciously, everybody else now, they want to be talked about like that. And so now they know, oh, well, if I do X, Y, Z, then maybe I'll get recognized, right? So that was number three, verbal praise at the morning huddle or morning dispatch. Uh, number four, at about two weeks, two or three weeks, a handwritten note. A handwritten note, it's just an appreciation note. It could be on a sticky note. It could be on a letter. It doesn't matter. Point is, though, handwrite it. If you're handwriting so bad that nobody can read it, then get somebody else to write it. But point is, is to, to handwrite a note and give it to that person after they've been with you for a few weeks. And it's just another way of appreciating somebody. Because sometimes some of these things are hard to say in person. It's hard to tell someone how much they mean to you. And it sometimes sounds funny when the guy's only worked for you for two or three weeks, but this is how you keep people around. This is how you keep people so that way they continue to work with you for a long, long time, right? So a little handwritten note after two or three weeks. And then the fifth and uh, final one, which again, this is not an exhaustive list. You could do way more. I hope you do way more, but this is a checklist system in your business. Is at the team meeting, which you should have once a month, bringing your new person up that's been there for a month and verbally praising them in front of the full staff. And this is everybody, every single person at your company, you're verbally praising this new person. And you may have 10 of these people and you might take 30 minutes just to bring new people through and talk about them. Hopefully it doesn't take 30, but point is love on your people. That's the point, right? Give them words, give them your, our words are so powerful. Our words are so powerful. So use your words, okay? And praise your people in public. Praise in public, criticize in private. Never criticize that guy in, the, in front of the whole team because now he feels jaded by you. He feels, he's got a, some kind of animosity against you now. He feels like you're out to get him. And that's not what you're trying to do, right? So praise him in public though. Praise him with as many people around as you can and this isn't just for the new guy. This is for it, everybody, okay? This is for anybody that's stepping up and being a key player and being a game changer in your business. You want to be showering them with verbal praise all the time, everywhere you go, every day, as much as you can because there's just not enough of it, okay? All right, we'll see you on the next video. Take this, run with it, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.